Hey guys, welcome to Flat Top King. Hey, today we're doing big old hamburger steaks, sauteed mushrooms, sauteed onions. We're gonna do a roasted garlic and blue cheese sauce. We're bringing that back. You guys stay tuned. All right, so we've had a couple comments, especially recently, about how do you lose 60 pounds and eat the way you eat or cook what you're cooking? And I laughed and my wife, of course, laughed and said they have no idea what goes on behind the scenes. So when we film, it's like a cheat day. So we're going to give you an insight, kind of like a, a small series like we did the appetizer on the flat top series of eating healthy on the flat top grill. All right, guys, let's get this show on the road, shall we? All right, we got our ground beef. I'm still gonna doctor up the ground beef. I just like a little A1 sauce, not much. It looks like I don't have much. So that will work perfect. All right. How much would you say that is? Oh geez, this is three pounds of meat. I don't know, maybe a couple tablespoons. Same thing. Worcestershire sour sauce and just a touch of mustard. Almost out of that too. I know. Boy, we need to go condiment shopping. So for us, it's all about flavor. Look, I know a lot of people say that you can only use salt and pepper on ground beef, but you know, we're making big old beef patties and I want the flavor to really come through. Now my wife just said, oh man, what if we use that blacking seasoning, that Cajun seasoning used on the, the, uh, the steaks? If you guys want to check out that recipe, obviously you can. It's the video that we just... Can I just say, also, that is my absolute favorite thing that you have ever made on the flat top. Is that Cajun really? ribeye with the blue cheese garlic cream sauce. Really? Oh, yes. Well, it's perfect. That's At least I know that all my stuff that I make is for you is not good enough. All right. So just mix it around. Put <laughs> I mean, whatever. Everything you make is good, though. Uh, just but put that's, whatever. That's just my favorite. And I'll stop interrupting you now. Thank you. All we do is mix it around. Okay? All we're trying to do is build flavors. So then I'm just going to come back in here and create our balls. Now look, we're going to do big portions. I want the beef to be on there for a good amount of time. So I have no idea how big this is. This is just how we do it. I think it helps with the crust and you don't have to worry about overcooking it. So anytime for me, if you can get the crust and not overcook it, it's perfect. Come back in here. Went to the pantry real quick got some good old blackened seasoning and some creole seasoning mix what a combination all right guys so i just went in and washed my hands uh we're gonna start on the cream sauce because this one take a minute for that i don't know about that much how much is that just a good no. amount Probably like half a cup of chunk blue cheese right there. You can add little as, as much as you like, really. Obviously, you don't even have to make the cream. You can just melt the blue cheese over top of it. But my wife said she wanted it. Happy wife, happy life. So that's what she's getting. Yeah. This is squash and zucchini. Um, I've just went ahead and pre-seasoned with salt, pepper, garlic, and my cavenders. You guys know that I love that seasoning. So a little avocado oil. Put this on the side. Let it do its thing. It's going to get loud. We're going to do our mushrooms. And our onions. All right. Good time. Go ahead and hit it with some salt and pepper. Looks like I'm out of pepper on my grinder. Here, take a quick shot. Look how fast it's already bubbling. That's what happens when you preheat your stuff before you bring it out here. It really accelerates the cooking process. And it's, it's actually already done. I want that blue cheese to say uh, chunky. Look at that, see that? Just bring it off the stove. And then as it uh, cools, it'll thicken. And let me say this really quickly. If you're worried about the calorie content, the fat content, you can always go with a linger burger. You can always do um, smaller portions. And you, like I said before, you don't even have to do the cream sauce. If you would just want a little bit of blue, blue cheese, we just got so many requests about how do you lose weight and eat the way you do. And I laugh because I think a lot of times they think 
that I eat the way I cook. And this might seem like it, but we won't eat all this. This is basically lunch and dinner for us for the next two to three days. But what I like about it is you get a really good, nice sear on these burgers. The smaller you make them, the faster they cook. The faster they cook, the less crunch, the less uh, mallard, which is the caramelization of the beef you get. Oh, I thought mallard was a duck. Well, if Bob's right, Bob, if you're out there, please comment. <laughs> I might have hit that one. <laughs> or that might have been a Southern culinary uh, term of the day. All right, here we go. Flat top off, my vegetables, like I said, won't take long. Look, if you're not familiar with mushrooms, or if you are, you know mushrooms are X amount of percent of water, okay? If you're gonna caramelize your onions, do not mix these together. If you can see right here, you see all this moisture right here on the mushrooms? This is not good for caramelization. Caramelization is when you cook the sugars. So keep your onions and your mushrooms separate if you want a really good caramelization on your onions. And that's what I'm looking for. Hey, that's a good tip. Learn something new every day. Honey. Every day. If you've noticed, I've kind of rearranged my flat top while we're on a hiatus over here. I moved my mushrooms off to the side. I've taken my vegetables off. I got my burgers down for the girls. Since this side is off and this side is still on, I still want to cook my onions. So all I did was rotate my onions over and all they're doing is cooking in that beef fat as the beef fat comes down, okay? I'm gonna step back. Oh yeah, see that? Mm. That's the crust I'm talking about. That's the benefit of having a bigger burger. Like I said, my mushrooms, slowly but surely getting there. Onions, just about where I want them. Mm. See that? See that natural caramelization? All right, here we go. All right guys, so I don't know about you, but I think I'm ready to build. Just take some of these beautiful mushrooms right on top. Okay. Some of these onions, same thing. And now for the moment of goodness. Look how chunky that still is. See that? See why I pulled it off early? Mm. Now that to me is one healthy burger. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's low carb at least. Just so you know, this is still not a joke. This is literally something that we would eat and we would consider it healthy for our needs. And this is how we lost weight, so. But just to reiterate, we would not eat that whole entire thing. That's correct. That's why I only made one. If you guys notice the little bitty things that go on behind the scenes, we only made one, we're gonna share it. This one will build once we cook it tomorrow or warm it up tomorrow. All right, you ready? Mm. Get out of there. Even the flies like it. See, look, you still get the medium rare, but you still get the crust on the outside. And that's flavor that you can't replicate. Mm. And that's why I build a big burger. I don't know if this is gonna be pretty or not. <laughs> it's gonna taste good though. I don't give you a lot of credit. Me? And I like to harass you. <laughs> but that blackened seasoning, I think took it over way over the edge. I'd have never guessed it. I had a good idea. 
That's a dang good idea. <laughs> hey guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button. Let's go healthy a couple times. We got a couple more that's a little bit lighthearted per se.